What is Blockstream? Max? <laughs> oh boy, two minute timer, go. Go to Remora is, all right, uh, Remora is uh, a little like a sucker fish that attaches to the side of a whale and rides along. So it's a parasitic invasive uh, species, you know, I guess you could say. Um, Coingeek.com, my friend Kurt Wilkert Jr., uh, the chief Bitcoin historian, has a lot of great content on what he calls the crypto crime cartel. So basically, Blockstream is a company that controls the, the direction of technical development for the Bitcoin Core software, and uh, they have a direct financial interest in crippling the capacity of the Bitcoin Core Layer 1 um, so that they can drive transactions to their captive uh, sidechain deals that they control, such as Liquid and Lightning. So basically, if you imagine strangling the base layer so that people have to go scale on L2, lightning, lightning, lightning. That's all we've been hearing for five years. The guys behind that, that's Blockstream. And so why are they doing that? Well, they got $140 million from uh, people like Henry DeCastries at AXA, all the typical uh, WEF bankster uh, prime suspects. Um, Blockstream is the uh, agency by which Bitcoin Core became strangled. There's chain surveillance companies that work hand in glove with Blockstream uh, to monetize the uh, loss of privacy on, on the base layer. Um, you know, when, when you think about like, okay, why, why is there even this opportunity for Epic? Uh, how, if you have a market leader that's on the king of the hill, uh, how, how do monopolies become uh, less dominant? Um, well, uh, they, they become deaf to market forces. And in this case, uh, the technology exists to improve Bitcoin and do the types of things that we've done with Epic, but they choose not to do it because it directly benefits them um, to keep it the way it is.